Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today's video is going to be a follow-up to the one that I just did that uh, was luxury, it's just not fun anymore, and I am all bagged out. I've had this video planned for quite a while. I um, have some notes here, and I keep a little notebook with ideas for different videos, and this has been on my list for quite a while, even before um, you know that video. But I thought it would kind of piggyback and go along with that one. And it's, do luxury YouTubers genuinely enjoy everything that they have with a haul or when you see somebody that's constantly, constantly unboxing, such as myself? Um, do they truly enjoy it and appreciate it and all of that? So the last video, I said I wanted to have a discussion with y'all and I got so many comments and I read everyone, I responded to everyone, and it was just very interesting. Most of you are on the exact same page as I am, and you're tired of it. You don't feel it's a luxurious experience anymore. Some of you are like, I'm gonna buy bags forever, no matter what, and some of you are like, I'm just getting started, so, you know, I'm not bagged out yet. So, I really, really enjoyed the comments, and I hope we can keep the dialogue going on this video. It's just gonna be a chatty, casual, you know, video. I am going to be looking down a little bit here and there because I want to make sure that I don't miss anything that I wanted to talk about. Just have it a little bit more organized perhaps than the last video. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Melinda. If you are returning, welcome back. I would love it if you could just take a moment and hit that subscribe button down below. It is so wicked, wicked hot here today. I think I've only filmed maybe two videos ever with my hair up. This is pretty much what it looks like all summer and I've got some super Icy cold water, these cups are great <laughs> to keep me cool, <laughs> so hot. Um, okay, so there is a song that I absolutely love and it's not a new song, it's been out for a while. I, I don't know how to pay to put music in or I would play the, the middle portion of it for you. <clears throat> the band is Metric, the song is Gold Guns Girls and the, the chorus is, is it ever going to be enough? Is it ever going to be enough? Is it ever going to be enough? And it's about materialism and consumerism and buying this. And I've been listening to this song for years and I've been like, is it ever going to be enough? For me, is it ever going to be enough? And I'm at this point right now where I think it is. Um, I had a few people ask me if uh, I'm broke or if my husband is broke. We are not broke. Um, I actually have more money now that I've had in, I, I, I don't want to be rude and talk about money, but I can buy things. I just am choosing not to. And I have more money because I'm choosing not to buy things right now. So just get that out of the way. But um, several of you um, mentioned that there were other videos on this topic, which I was unaware of. I only knew of Linda's. And her and I have been talking about this for for a while now. And um, so I watched some of those other videos. I believe the person who kind of started it was HRH uh, Collection. I couldn't get very far into that video. Um, at some point she told her viewers that they were effing rats and I thought, mm, bye, <laughs> you know, I told people to shut the F up, but no, 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 she's not for me. But, and I also disagree with uh, I didn't see the whole video, but everything that I saw, I completely disagreed with. She said that it was so saturated and everybody's wearing it and it's just ta and it's tacky people and tacky people wearing bags have ruined it. And I, I, I found that vile. I don't think people are tacky. Uh, I think anybody of any income, any background, if you save up and you want to buy something and, you know, I think that's great. And I will continue to say this on my channel. If you really want something, I would get it sooner rather than later if you can financially afford it without doing any damage to your life. Um, they're just gonna keep going up, up, up. Uh, the other video that I watched was Erica's Girly World. Really, really liked her take on that a lot. And that's the two that I saw, but um, I really did like hers. But So my opinions have nothing to do with either of theirs. I hadn't seen them. Um, I'd already formed how I am feeling about luxury, but I did I did think it was interesting to, to watch those, of course. And um, 
let's see. <laughs> um, most of you agreed with me that you're bagged out. Um, I already said that, I think, but most of you agreed with me that you're just kind of over it right now. And I'm not going to turn into a minimalist channel. I felt this way almost about a year ago and I didn't buy anything for a while and then I started buying a bunch of stuff. I'm never going to be a minimalist channel. Frankly, a lot of those channels annoy me. There's one in particular, and I'm not going to name names of anybody, but there's one in particular that I think she's just gone so far and just encourages people to just to sell everything that they own. If you don't need the money, there's no reason to let your things go unless you're tired of them, don't like them, they're not working for you or whatever, but it's like she's just taken it to, just from me way too far. There's another YouTuber who was a huge shopaholic and she had some financial issues during the pandemic and she went from one end of the pendulum to the other telling people to unsubscribe to luxury youtubers this 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 and then, then she's she's back shopping like a maniac i'm not ever going to tell you what to do i'm not ever going to tell you what you should and shouldn't buy i do have some videos on 10 things that i think are stupid to buy stuff like that but that's just, that's my opinions and um but i'm not gonna because i don't feel like buying things doesn't mean that you shouldn't feel like buying things. I have quite a large collection. A lot of you told me you are switching to jewelry, and I absolutely love that. I think jewelry is beyond better than leather any day of the week. You can dip your bracelet in cheese dip, and you can rinse it off. You get cheese dip on your lambskin bag, you're in some trouble. And some of you asked about my birthday. Um, this was the gift from my husband. I had a feeling that he was going to put the money back in my account and he did. So I did get, I did get a birthday gift. So, okay, where am I at now? So back to the actual subject. Do luxury YouTubers enjoy everything that they have, especially when they're doing really big hauls? The simple answer to that, no. You can't, it's impossible. Um, if you buy three bags, you know, buy three bags, it's gonna take me a couple of weeks to use all three bags and to enjoy all three bags and you just can't, you can't, it's impossible. The first, <clears throat> excuse me, I have such allergies too, which is why I have my water here. The first luxury bag I ever purchased, I brought out some eye candy for you, was this one. It is the Trevi PM, and this is almost 10 years old. It's coming up on 10 years old very, very quickly. I did not get my first bag until I was 41 years old. I had other responsibilities in my life. My husband and I have always been on the same page that you need a well-rounded life. We have always traveled. We have never stopped traveling. We like to go out to nice restaurants. Life was about our children and taking them places. And then we got to a point where they were through with college. We both bought them both cars and paid for their college in full. And we had some money to spend on ourselves. So we did. This being the first bag that I got, I had this for quite a while, um, not a full year. <clears throat> I am so sorry. I have been doing this all day since I've been, um, <laughs> had to go out and run some errands and just we have air quality alert here. Um, at least six months, maybe longer than that. That's maybe seven, but that this was my first and only. And I didn't buy that much, you know, at first. When I first started this channel, the point of the channel and the point of what YouTube was five years ago, it wasn't really unboxings. It was more like, you know, this is the Trevi PM, it has a detachable strap, you know, going on, you know, there's feet on the bottom. It was more of a review style. And then it slowly started morphing into hauls. I don't think I'd ever heard of hauls when I started. Maybe I had, I know it's hard to remember five years ago, but let me tell you about haul videos. If this video today, if I was unboxing three handbags, this video would get so many more views than this video is going to get with me just being chatty and talking about how I feel. So many of you said you were tired of watching the unboxings. And I said in that video, I said, I still love a good unboxing. 
truthfully, I'm not watching them though. Uh, or if I do, I just fast forward to see what some somebody got. And I'm like, oh, that's neat. That's pretty bad. But I'm not actually engaged and, and that interested anymore. And so I understand where you're coming from. But that still is what is going to get you the views, which is going to get you more pay. And then, you know, it just becomes the cycle. So I had a huge birthday haul and I will link that down below a massive birthday haul last year this year as I said there is not going to be a haul video I bought myself that Kate Spade backpack and then my husband bought me um, this and then a Fendi strap and that's all I got I got some gifts from my friends and stuff like that but you know I just am not I'm just not interested in it right now, but I'll link that down below. That was the craziest haul that I've ever done in my entire life. Zero regrets. It was fun. That was a happy, fun week, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Um, but it was, it was too much to enjoy at once. I got several pieces of jewelry. I got two bags. I mean, it was just... There was just no way to enjoy it all at once. Whereas when you get one piece and you just are focused on that and using that and it was just, it was overwhelming. I remember a couple of YouTubers messaging me, asking me if I got a lot of hate on that video. I actually didn't, I had three negative comments, that's it. The comments are off on that video. The reason for that is not the negativity, just that I've been doing YouTube for five years, so anything that's a year older, I have turned the comments off just simply to make my life easier because I like to respond to as many comments as I possibly can. But I did have a few YouTubers make videos about my birthday haul. And it was a tag video. I'm not gonna give you their names because I'm not gonna give them any views. Um, one of them wasn't talking about me at all. Two of them specifically were talking about me. One of them was so unkind and ugly. And her words, not my words, her words, she said she was so jealous. She was jealous of the birthday haul. She was jealous of husbands who buy their wives jewelry with diamonds. Um, by the way, I wrote a check for this. I had no idea that he was going to uh, buy this for me for my birthday. I had a feeling that he eventually would put that money in my account because I knew he wanted it to be from him, but I buy my own stuff. Almost everything I own, I buy. Her words, not mine. She then continues to actually spit. She spits and she looks like she needs a bath and she spits and <laughs> she says, I hate these kind of videos. I never ever watch them. Then she goes, I just watched one this morning and she launches into great detail about me and my birthday all. And a bunch of comments were about me down below, like I, whatever, you know, block, delete. Um, she's gone. I, I don't watch her. Somebody told me she made the video about me. So I looked. The other person was hilarious with their take. And I actually gave that person a thumbs up and did not block and did not delete. I thought she was funny. I can I can take it. I mean, but when you're being absolutely cruel, it's like, you know, I'm just, you know, <laughs> it's just not nice. But yeah, if you want to be mean to me on that video, you can't because the comments are disabled. But I, I doubt that you would. But, but when she said that she was jealous, I just, I honestly felt really bad for her. I really did. Because don't ever, ever be jealous of anybody for any reason, but especially for material items. Just, just, it's not, don't do that. You're not in the other person's space. Um, I was at church once and I remember, I remember this lesson so well from the preacher because I was having a really bad time in my life. And I remember looking at other people and thinking, well, you know, they don't have this going on. I was, I was suffering from depression at the time. And I was like, they have everything together. They don't feel like I feel. And the sermon was, don't ever envy anybody else's life. Because if you got inside of them for five minutes inside of their head, you'd want your own life back. 
you don't know what's going on in my life. I share very, very little, um, as you know, but it's just, I felt, I felt really sorry for her at that moment. I was like, you shouldn't feel jealousy over things ever, over anything. You shouldn't have envy. It's just, you know, but that's something she's going to have to work on. But yeah, you cannot, you truly cannot enjoy when you're intaking so, so, so much. I never, ever thought I would be unboxing, 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 unboxing. And I am very, very guilty of it. Um, there is a YouTuber I really like a lot. I'm not going to name names on any of these people, but there's one that I, I really like her a lot. I think she's sweet. I think she's cute. I love her content. She's fun. But she did a, a, a video a few years ago with her handbag collection, and she would hold up more than one. I can't count how many bags. That she's like, I've never used this. And I get it because it gets to a point where you cannot possibly rotate them. And I am kind of there right now. So I'm, that's why I'm like, I've got to stop. I don't feel like letting anything go right now, but I need to use what I have, enjoy what I have, be grateful for what I have. Something I've always told my children, and especially when they were younger and in high school, especially, just because you can doesn't mean you should. So just because, yes, I can go out and purchase something else right now, it doesn't mean that I should. It was, what is it going to add? Is it going to make me happy? Is it going to be something different enough from what I have? Is it just going to stress me out? Because when you start having all these possessions, you have to have a place to keep them. You have to keep them, you know, I like to keep my things in nice shape. It just, it becomes a lot to keep up with. The last several times we have been to Las Vegas, my husband is just kind of befuddled as what to do there <laughs> because normally he gambles. I don't gamble. I shop. So every, most of the casinos have big malls. So we'll go to the Wynn and I'll go to Cartier and I will go to Dior and I will go to Chanel and he will gamble. And then, you know, we'll go to a different place and I will go to all the stores there. And lately I haven't I haven't wanted to go to the stores since I've gone to Fendi. I did, well, my birthday, yes, I did my birthday. But most most trips there, I'm, I might go to one or two stores tops. And that's it. I'm just not, that's just not what I want to do anymore. And I, I tend to shop more on vacation. I don't know why. I, it just, I don't know, it seems more fun on vacation, I guess, but than I do um, at home. But yeah, it just it gets to this point of I'm in my closet and I'm like I have so many pretty bags and a couple of you had that in your comments so like you know well you're at purse piece because you have so many you know lovely bags and I agree with that completely um, I have said multiple times that I would never say to you that I would not purchase the Chanel Jumbo at today's price because I own it I've changed my stance on that because that bag just does not work for me and I know myself better now. So I am still going to do that video um, where I'm going to share with you the few that I've sold, but a lot that I have returned. So I just, I wouldn't purchase it now because I know it doesn't work for me. Nothing to do with the price point. If you want one, get one. And the Chanel Medium Flat, again, I wouldn't purchase that. I tried it on the other day. I'm like, I'm going to make myself wear these bags and it just... I don't like the strap drop. Uh, I just, there's a lot of things about it. There is no perfect bag. And that is also another video that I'm going to be sharing with you. And I'm going to be showing you some of my bags and things that absolutely drive me crazy about them. I have no plans on letting those go at this moment. Um, cause you know, I let this one go and I bought it back and I actually got my actual real bag back because I sold it to my girlfriend Andrea and she still had it and she wasn't using it but I've learned that you know my tastes change and they cycle but I think as we get more mature and we get to know ourselves better and our style better I just you know I know that I like top handle bags the best and I really like cross body bags I'm not really wearing shoulder bags anymore. When I purchased those two bags, shoulder bags were what I loved the most. So they were used a lot and you know, 
it's all you know changes but I also know that I could turn around and love shoulder bags again but just the simple truth of it is when you see people and me me <laughs> do these massive hauls no you don't you don't enjoy them after the the filming is over that bed is full of stuff it takes me forever to get everything all cleaned up, all put back, put away, and then, you know, just to start using things. As I said in the last video, there's seven days in a week, and, um, you know, I only have, <laughs> I have so many, you know, places that I go. And jewelry, again, I think it's a fabulous. A lot of you are getting into jewelry, and I'm also not planning on purchasing a lot more jewelry either. I have been collecting jewelry since I was in high school, so you can imagine that was my passion. That was where the focus was. <laughs> that was where I concentrated all my firepower on. That is my Star Wars reference, but I mean, it was my thing. It still is my thing, but I have one neck. I have two ears. I have double piercings. <laughs> That's it. I have two wrists. I have 10 fingers. <laughs> and you know, there's only so much jewelry that I can pile on and I can pile it on. I really can. I kind of do the opposite of Coco and I, I pile it on. I'd rather wear more than take one off. <laughs> I love it. But yes, it's just, it gets to a point where it's like on to the next one, on to the next one. And you have a bag that you just got and then you're online looking at the next bag. And I feel like I'm just like opening my eyes and being like, let's enjoy what we have. I have so much to enjoy. I want to be grateful. I want to live in the moment. I want to use these beautiful things, not let them collect dust on a shelf. And several of you echoed my sentiments exactly. It's like, this was my hobby. What am I gonna do now? I'm like, I know, right? So I went from obsessing over jewelry. I would actually have dreams about what pieces I wanted in the middle of the night to obsessing over bags where I actually would dream about the bag that I wanted in the middle of the night. I haven't done that on either in ages. But now I'm doing just like simple, simple things. I have the tiniest little garden and I'm having so much fun with that. I'm growing um, chives basil, red peppers, orange peppers, yellow um, zucchini, no, no, zucchini, yellow squash, and three kinds of tomatoes. There's only two of us, so that's a lot, and I'm so excited about that. I spent three dollars on a pepper yesterday, so I can't wait till I can go out in my garden and pick a pepper and, and cook it, and you know, I used to have a massive garden. I used to garden all the time. So this might be edited very strangely. My camera was blinking something that I cannot see because I don't have my glasses on. So I wrapped it up a little too fast, but um, so hopefully I can splice it together where it makes sense. But I used to have a giant garden and I used to just love that. And then the, we moved and when we moved, there were no bees. So I tried having a garden a couple years in a row and it didn't work out. We have bees here. So it's just something to do, something simple, something, you know, just something not thinking about things. I've said this a billion times, and I'm gonna say it again today. At the end of the day, none of this matters, none of it. It's all just stuff, it's all just things, and it's, it's just inconsequential to our lives. It really is, and um, we should enjoy them, but we shouldn't, be obsessed and crazy about them. So I will be doing a few different kinds of videos. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Everybody says they will watch whatever you will do, which is not true. <laughs> I have tried that. I've done a few different types of video. What y'all like is unboxings, even if you say you don't, but I hope you have an amazing day today. Take care, bye-bye.